MMS. We are your partner in growth. I'm Kevin Kimani Kahuro. I am an arts manager uh, with a specialty in international cultural relations. Um, I, I'm good at resource mobilization and partnerships. I'm also the principal creative production officer at Kenya Cultural Center, uh, basically in charge of the programs and business development department. Apart from that, I'm the founder of the Kenya International Theatre Festival and the Kenya Theatre Award. So my topic today is uh, business as a, art as a business. So that's my topic. How can we make our art a business? How can you make your music a business? How can you make your poetry a business? Sawa. How can you make whatever you're doing right now, how can you make it a business? And I want to start with this image on screen. What do you see? What is the interpretation? What, what can you see? And relate it to art. Uh -huh. A ball rolls faster than a box. Relate it now to art. Uh, to, uh, to what you do uh, as a person. Like, you should any fix yourself in a place where you can grow. Mm -hmm. It's a good analogy. Yeah? Yeah, just say it, just say it. In your own words. And if Volvo is here, I'm going to turn to a time. So, uh -huh. there is another one here, yes? I, well, I, I can see creativity. Uh, I can see uh, thinking outside the box, but I can also see color, which is a lot uh, to do with art and, and, you know, the vibrancy and the society. Uh, in, in my own view, uh, uh, I think being unique, coming up with uh, something that uh, is uh, somehow unique to what others are doing is the, is the key to move forward. Maybe I can say we all want to go, but the strategy is what will make us go the places we want to go. Absolutely. Absolutely, yes. Um, okay, according to me, I feel like uh, uh, with the boxes, uh, in a symbolize the fact that, okay, let me start with the orange bowl. I feel like the orange bowl um, is more of the people who have the talent and everything. And the blue, the blue boxes, um, I don't know, that's how I feel. The Watambao are for our potential, despite okay, despite all of them having people who are pushing them, the the orange one has what is yeah, what it takes. What it takes to move fast. Yeah. Huh? Any other? Great. Now, what I read from this picture is that high chances. All these people at the start line had a box. All of them. High chances, the guy with the orange took a lot of time before he started to make his box round. And then he came and overtook everyone. Because he created his box in a way that can move faster and created a ball out of the box. In a nutshell, if you're a poet, how many other poets do you know? You guys are many, right? If you're a musician, you guys are many. If you're an actor, you guys are many. You're all pushing in the same direction. You all want to be successful. But what sets you aside is a strategy you put in place 
are not just starting because you are talented. It's good to be talented, but almost high chances there's somebody else who is more talented than you. Do you know that? In life, there's somebody, there's always somebody else who is better than you. But the question is, what are the strategies that you put in place to be more successful and to achieve your goals faster than anyone else? Another thing, do you know that when you have an idea, a brilliant idea of how to be a billionaire, do you know that there's somebody else who has the same idea as you? Like, same idea. The question becomes, who will implement it faster and with the right strategies? So, so I'll begin my presentation and I want us to look at art as a business. And what, what is a business? What comes into your mind when you hear a business? Profit making. Right? In simple terms, business is about making Sawa, unangangana na usani, you're inspired by a specific vision. Why? So that you can make a change in your community. Right? There are things that you see that are not good to you, and you want to use what you have, your talent, to change. And you know, you cannot change without also people seeing that whatever you're doing can make money. Sawa, sawa. Because we're saying, like there are thugs in our community. Kuna mathegi, kuna utegi mingi sana. Eh? Robbery, violence. Kila mtu anatafta mka. Sindio? So what do we do? And, and, and I'm saying, art as a business refers to the practice of treating one's artistic work as a commercial enterprise. How can your poet and your poetry earn you money? That's the biggest question. When will your song, the one that you're composing, make you a million? When? When will your voice take you to an event that will pay you 500K? And we know people who are being paid such amounts. Right now, you can't have Saudi soul if you can't pay them 2 million so, and that money has to hit their account before they, they perform. So, to them, that's a business. And if you look at the structures they have, they actually don't even negotiate. So, because they have people who are managing them. They have people to negotiate for them. So, kazi yake na concentrate na kuandika, kuenda studio, ku record music. So, Mwenye anatafuta biashara ni mwingine. Sawa. What can we do to get there? Sawa. And we're saying this involves applying business principles. So that yes, you're talented, but what principles have you put in place to ensure that your talent pays you? And what are these principles? Creation. How do you create your product? How do you promote your product? How do you sell your product? And how do you generate income from that product? Sawa. That is the most important thing. Focusing on that product, ensuring that you have the best product ever, and then marketing that product, finding the right market for that product, and selling it. It's not as easy as it sounds, or as it reads, and I'm sure you guys know. Art involves creating high quality art that meets the market demand. I'm sure you guys know the, the law of uh, um, demand and supply. So, for example, uh, why do we eat? Because we get hungry. So hunger creates a need for food then people know you must eat. So they have businesses to sell food. So uh, life is art. 
Do you know that? Everything that you consume on a daily basis is art. Everything. From the house you live in, it was designed by a designer. So, everything you wear was designed by a designer. The vehicle you use was designed by somebody. The music you listen to was written by somebody. If you listen to the story of creation, God woke up, he said, no, 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 it's not good. He created day and night. Eh? He created his creation. So, he said, now I've done everything. Now let me create man. Creation. No, he said, man is bored. Let me create for him, huh? So, so, he was in the business. He was creating. Everything you live is, is art. I've told you food is an art. So, mwenyana kupikia chakula ni artist. And it's a fact, by the way. Look at it the way you prepare your song to the way that some, the, the person who is cooking prepares food. Same thing. Ukitafta ingredients za words and atafta ingredients za kitunguna Vile una mix words ndi una mix ingredients zake. No, it's a fact. Sama. And then, continuously improving yourself. It is a prerequisite. Sasa, why do Safaricom continue to, to, to dominate market in telecommunication? Innovativeness. Product, new product every now and then. They dominate. They have over 70% of the market shares. Indio. But have they slept? They are continuously increasing and creating value so that even their competitors, when they come with low, low prices, they still maintain their high prices, but you still stick there. So in a nutshell, I'm trying to tell you how can you ensure that your product is of value, it meets the industry demand, it is of high quality, and you constantly sustain it. Forms of arts. We have performing arts, we have media arts, we have culinary art, we have visual arts. Within this, we've covered almost all forms of arts. You name it, I'll tell you it's in either of those categories. Some cut across. Like film cuts across between visual and media because of the nature in which you, you see it. But in the nature of which it is performed, it also goes to performing arts because the actor who acted is a performing artist. So that is the one that is the most confusing mode, uh, mode form of art because it has elements of performance, it has elements of visual, and then, of course, by the nature in which it is created, it is in form of media and technology. So, name gaming, all of that is under media. Animation, all that. Yes, that is visual arts. Yes, those are visual. The stools that have water, that's visual because the nature in which I consume it is through the eye. I see it. Sawa? Anyone who is confused there? Any form of art that you feel is not covered? Music is performing because I perform. Napiga mi stari. Sidi ni 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 ni. Sindio? Aya, sawa. We continue. What are the benefits of ensuring that your art is a business? Number one, financial stability. You have finances. Because we've said the essence of any business is ensuring that you're selling. You have a product. So if you maintain yourself as a business, you'll definitely not want to make losses. And you won't sleep until you make profit. Professionalism. You yourself will treat yourself as a professional and people will also treat yourself, you, as a professional because there is a way you carry yourself. Control. You'll have control over your product, over your art. I'm sure you guys know, and I'm sure you've experienced this. If I have an event today, I'll probably tell you I'm paying you 2000 So, 
probably I'll tell you, I'm even paying you a thousand. I'm only paying your fare. So, and since you don't have control, you can't even negotiate. Tasema ni kidogo lakini ni sawa tu. Ata sikuwa na. But when you have structures and you have a good quality, you'll have control. You'll say, no, I don't perform below this much. If it is, if it is not 50K, no, 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 no. So when I'm considering to include you in my show, if I don't hit your 50K, I'll call you way in hand. That's how you know you have control. I'll tell you, look, I'm budgeting for this. I don't have this much, but I want you to come, but I have this much for you. So you see, that person is already calling you to consider whether you will take A, B, C, D because of circumstances. And then growth. Of course, when you're sustainable, when you're developing the right strategies, you will grow. And then long-term sustainability. Because you've said as a business, for you to thrive as a business, you must have a strategic plan. So you'll definitely know that I need this amount of money. I'm turning 50K. Because I know in the next two weeks I'm getting 100K. If I get this 100K, it's able to make me survive until... What are the strategies that you need to put in place before you start to ensure that your art is a business? Number one, you must develop your artistic skill. If you're a poet, you must be good at poetry. You must do what it takes to make yourself a good poet. Over and above anything else, if you sing, you must perfect your singing act. Nowadays, we have the biggest resource in the world, YouTube. It's the biggest resource. Search anything on YouTube, you'll get it. Anything. How to write good poetry? Ikuapo. How to do, make art a good business? It is there. Anything you search on YouTube, eco. Sour. So ensure any resource, if you want to grow, ensure you grow. And if, if your skill is not of high quality, then I'll go for somebody else. I'll tell you, hey, you guy, you're my friend, but event, inataka watu flan. Next time, next, nikipata event, next time, seveni boy wangu, stako angusha. Hmm? Eh? Sindio? <laughs> yeah. Number two, you must create a portfolio. What do you do? And if you go to any business, go to any business on your phone. I think we have free Wi Fi. Go to any business that has a website, they have what they do. Sindio, what we do, our products, they've listed them. So, and mostly, the people they have even served, their clients. That's a portfolio. So when you perform anywhere, ensure you have a good photo of that performance, ensure you have details of that event, and list it. And then also, ensure that you define your art. One, you've grown your, your skill as a poet. Then say, I do this type of poetry. I address issues of climate change. I do advocacy. Not just entertainment, there is something I do with that art. That's why I asked the question of, of what inspires you. So, from what inspires you, create a compelling story. And you'll realize that most successful businesses or most successful people have a compelling story. A compelling story is a story that drives people or attracts people to your product. And you can create your own compelling story. So, and it can come from even your, your inspiration. Right? Like me, um, I think I went to address a conference organized by Embu County the other day, and somebody created a compelling story for me. They knew they have some information about me. So they created that 
as the compelling story. It's no longer a secret, but in my primary, out of 500, I had 240, below half. But right now I'm doing my PhD in art management. So I use, that can be my compelling story. I failed. I use that failure to be my turning point, to do what I, that's just an example, sound, of how you can create compelling stories, okay? You can say, mtakuna mathegi, you know, people are suffering in poverty. So, your compelling story that inspires your work is that story. And then, your work has to go hand in hand with what you say. You get? So, like now, I cannot say I failed 240. For that failure to make sense, I must combine it. I'm doing my PhD. So I'm, I've come from that failure. There's something I've done to get to this level. So your compelling story has to make sense. And then ensure that all that is created within the portfolio. So that you have a product to sell. Identify your target market. This is where we go wrong as artists. This is where we go wrong. Who are we creating our work for? Who? Who? So, I've said, I'm, um, I'm a rapper. I'm creating music, rap music. Yo, 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 ba, ba. And do you monango, no, no. Your music, who am I targeting? Who am I selling it to? It is a business. Remember, na point number one, your art is a business. With all this due respect, if you create music and give it to him, will you make business? Tuambiane ukweli, you target him as your market. Utaunda pesa? Kwa nini jupia ya na tajaribu kuunda music yake ya unde pesa? So you're, you're selling that music to the wrong person. So know who am I creating this music for? Where are they? How can they pay to listen to that music? You're doing illustration. Who are you doing that illustration for? Where are they? How can they get that illustration, and spend money to purchase it. Ni business. It's not fun. You see, the mistake we do, we want to create art for fun. Nataka ni unde wimbo, mabeshte wangu wa ipende, wanisifu. Hiyo sifa, haita kupea chakula, haita kulipia rent. So, you need to create that music for it to sell and you to earn a living. The sound. When you're creating a song, you spend time writing, right? You write, you write, you write. You go to the studio. You, you record. You have to hire a producer who has to make the music for you. The instruments, the beats. Sound. He has then to spend time to mix that with your vocals or with your voice for the song to be released or to be ready. Then he has to go further and master and then release. And then you want to give that product for free. Are you doing business? Sound. For how long? Yes, we have to understand. People must invest in their business before it starts paying, right? So you must invest before you start getting return. Know what is your investment strategy. And once I make, once I invest in that single song or in that single album, who am I selling it to? Atakama ni ya kwanza, promote nayo. So asawa, 
you have to make money from it. Because when you're creating it, you must know who am I selling it to. And if you know who you are selling that music to, trust you me, even if you won't make profit, you will make money out of it. That's a fact. So if I target that if I make the first song, I'm targeting the community of pastors to play that music in church. I go to the pastor and tell him, please buy this CD, it has this number of songs, or this flash, it has this number of songs, play it in church. So, and if you had really targeted the pastor, you must have good sales to ensure that that pastor gives you a thousand or five hundred. Sour. So that, once you make that product, ensure that it gives you money. Sour. And that comes from identifying your target market. And if you do this, trust you me. Atakama will spend 5,000 to record Wimbo. Utaunda 1,000. At least, na hiyo Wimbo. Trust you me. Kama uli make your Wimbo for high schoolers, if you feel your age mates identify with that song, and your age mates maybe meachana na wako 18, so high chance that song might hit to 16, 17. Try go to high school. Perform that song. Ask them maybe to buy your flash at 500 bob. Utauza. But if you've not identified, if you've not identified your target market, Utenda kuzia babako hipo, na ya napenda? Rumba. Ukona mziki poa, but mwenye unapelekea na kuuliza ni nini? Anakuambia nyinyi vijana wa sikuizi mlichizi. Hii ni bangi hii. Hii ni bangi. Because you've taken your product to the wrong? M&S. We are your partner in growth.